readings. This is Robin. I'm bringing the reading from our wonderful guidance from Rumi, from the Keepers of the Light, and some healing messages for you. Now, thank you for coming back to my channel and being with me. I hope that it's supportive for you. Um, technically, they call it entertainment. However, I like spiritual guidance and I just pick up bits and pieces as I go and learn from guidance, from intu intuition, and actually I do have clear audience, so I do get spoken to, but I'm very careful about these messages and staying in a love energy. I hope that for you too. To 2021, this is for January 2nd, and I'm going to start with my sound bowl and also my anointing spray. Okay, This is Sacred Holy Anointing Spray. Or otherwise known for me, spiritual diva on the go, spiritual bath on the go. Before I go into this, I want to tell you one of the projects I'm doing. I'm creating selenite wand, magic wands for you that are power. They're triple powered. And they're going to be getting wrapped by my friend Olivia. And she might even teach in a little course through my channel on how to wrap quickly. So that's been something I've been wanting to know for a long time. Also, my friend Annie from Annie's Angels makes these crystals beautiful point, pointed quartz, and I have some of those for sale too. Those will be up on the site. Rose quartz, many, many things. So just, here's another. So just know that I love you. Here we go. I bring in the, the energies of a higher mindset, a higher heart place, acknowledgement, and guidance. That's of the ordinance of love and healing. Okay, let's go. All right. This is Rumi Oracle for January 2nd for the collective. Okay? Love you. Um, I am doing private readings. You'd have to uh, go to my website and pick out the reading that you desire. And then we can make sure that I know what your questions are and your date of birth is. So we can go in and see what we can do to guide you through whatever whatever spirit wants to bring forth for you, confirmations or synchronicities, generally. Okay, Rumi Oracle. Okay, so let me do this. I'm learning how to fan these better. I'm not that good at it right now. So let me challenge myself. Okay. Here we go. This is an old method of, of divination. And what it is, is it's based on intuition and feeling. There it is. So it's not any you know, woo-woo or anything. It's just trusting yourself and uh, allowing yourself to be guided. So the message is from nothing to everything, number 16. One is a brand new start, and six is love and equality. This is really very nice. So let's see what Rumi wants to say to you. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Okay. What is Rumi's message to the collective, please? Mm. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm just going to read the, uh, I'm not going to go into great details on these or you'll never get the whole, you'll never get the whole reading. So here we go. <clears throat> Rumi says, oh, my friend, if you're longing to be written on, become a blank page. Have you been shedding your skins, your layers, your, con your certainties? Gone are fixed identities and definite opinions. Keep casting those shackles aside, even if you fear you are releasing too much, and then perhaps you shall cease to exist. You shall only cease to exist as you have known yourself to be thus far. Another emanation of you awaits, blazing angel, something more beautiful and true. Yet here you are in the pruning stages, like a gardener for the soul. Shall the gardens bring back to life? Or will the enthusiastic denuding process be rather too much and unintentionally kill off the garden altogether? Fear not. Your soul is made of hearty stuff. It can handle a lot of calling and will shine even brighter for it. There is a greater story to be impressed upon your essence than the one you are currently dreaming of. And though you are brilliant, no doubt about it, my angel of love, there is one who is even more so. 
The imagination of this great writer is beyond our comp comprehension. The stories that pour forth from the cosmic poet in every moment are so rich. They inspire the creation of art and music. Hallelujah. One such story is especially created for you. Yes, you. With a starring role and all the best supporting cast. You should gasp in wonder, awe, glee, and delight when you hear it. It's a great romance, a great adventure, with an ending truly spectacular and divine. Would you wish to hear it? Become attentive now. Put your own tales aside, as dramatic as they may seem right now. Prepare to be entranced by the great storyteller, the living poet of love, as you are entranced in a tale of your unfolding divine destiny. Wow. What is the message from the Keepers of the Light for my beautiful subscribers? Mm. It's a real easygoing day today. At least it is for me. I feel very accomplished, very organized, rather healthy, empowered, loving, open, and clean. <laughs> I'm getting all my laundry done tonight. Oh, yes, it is life, right? Outside, uh, outside things. Here's our message. We got Kathumi the other day. Cloak of wisdom. So as you're going through this process of empowering your beautiful soul, you also put on a cloak of wisdom. In my case, I like the cloak of invisibility. <laughs> I don't always want to be seen. I want to be heard. You already know the answer you seek. So trust what you know. Give me another piece for the collective. Kathumi and who supports this? From nothing to everything. This is incredible. My angel. Um, a lot of you don't even realize the fabulous potential of just friggin' letting things go and don't give them any more of your power or headspace. The divine director is working here. You see the lavender influence of the mind. Intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. I have to pause. I apologize. So we have a supporting energy of the of divine intervention occurring in your life and being guided. Happiness is your purpose. So you're going you're shifting into a whole new energy where you're just putting down the stuff and you're moving forward with a whole different expression, a whole different feeling about life and what you're capable of and things came to you. A lot of people went through a lot of changes in 2020. Things have come to you through divine direction and uh, gathering up wisdom and making good decisions. Making changes, they're very difficult. They hurt. They hurt the soul to break away from relationships or lose somebody. But you're powerful because of it. And you know that you're a powerful container of hope if you want to be a container of hope. Or you can be, um, you can be a healer. Just say, hey, I, you know, just use me, God, to help somebody. Whatever you want to do. Right? What are the healing messages to go with this reading, please, for January 2nd? We have ask for guidance in seeing the truth concealed in your personal challenges. Literally asking. Bless your difficulties. Ask to see their hidden guidance. Have the courage to accept what you discover and to initiate whatever action your healing requires. You're being divinely guided. Resisting. Change, resisting change leads to illness. Accepting change brings about peace. Embrace the changes in your life. Release what you no longer need. And welcome the seeds of this new experience. And Kathumi. Kathumi brings hope. With wisdom comes hope, correct? Hope is nature's way of enabling us to survive so that we can discover nature itself. For this day, acknowledge the restoring power of Direct that power to bless all that needs healing in your life, including your negative attitudes and disappointments. Hmm. With that, I'm going to go ahead and pull a wisdom of the hidden realms on this one and see what it is that we don't see about this path that we're on, this 
dropping illusions, getting whiz, picking up wisdom, resisting, uh, but only resisting those that would keep us away from moving forward. Um, divine Director shows that you have divine guidance and, and um, internally you're being guided. Everything's being laid out before you. You're blessed. So what is it that we don't see? Whoa, hello. Yep, Divine Direction, the cosmos is here. Creativity and vastness. You need to know that you are powerful and that you are being divinely guided. So many of you. How to stay grounded on the earth and how to create new life every day. How to be recreated from the inside every day. Be different every day and accept things the way they are. There is a book on that. Let me see if I can find that. What is the message about this, please? The message for you, my beloveds, is this is a principle of infinity and the vastness of the energetic exchange of consciousness influencing all living things. This teaches us that every intention we set is in fact contagious with the power to influence others. We're entangled at our deepest energetic place, so we can't help but have an effect on others from an individual level level to a global one. Wow, that's talking about expansion in 2021. That's beautiful. This is a sign to remind you to open up to, to the well of creativity deep within you and be mindful of your thoughts and actions. Both are influencing your outer world. Most important, keep taking action toward your goals as the cosmos responds perfectly to manifest your highest destiny. Expect to be inspired and to meaningfully touch others with all that you create. I think that's wonderful. I'm leaving at this. May you be blessed. Namaste.